you've got one half of your skeleton, you need to create the other half. Now, presuming you haven't used that symmetry tool, what you first need to do, in fact, let's just delete some of these so that we can Not sure what's happening there. I'm just going to pause the video while I get rid of one half of this skeleton. Not sure why deleting this hip removes the connection there. There we go. Just unparented it and reparented it. And let's just hide that camera in the way. So you've created one half of your skeleton. If I just bring the outliner over, as you can see, I've gone through and renamed all the joints so that they're named correctly. And what I've done is created a L underscore uh, prefix onto each. And you'll see why I've done that in a second. It not only means that when I'm looking at the skeleton, I know which are the left-hand sides, uh, which, which are the left side elements. It also means that when I come to mirror the joints, Maya will automatically rename everything which is L underscore to R underscore. So we don't need to go in and rename them ourselves. So how are we going to mirror this? So let's select our clavicle, select our hip, because these are the elements we want to mirror. I'm just gonna to go to skeleton, mirror joint. Open up this. As you can see, we are replacement names for duplicate joints is what I've just uh, mentioned. It's gonna search for everything with L underscore and replace it with right underscore. You're gonna mirror mirror across which axis, so let's try x, y. And the function depends on what you want the skeleton to do. Behaviour will mirror these joints, but it will also mirror the rotational axes. So let me just uh, try that. So we have to do them one at a time. So click apply, and you see it, we've picked the wrong axis, so y, z. Click apply, there we go. And if you look at the axis here, Y is pointing up there, Y is pointing down there. If we select them both and rotate the Z axis, they both do move the opposite way. So depending on what you're doing, or how you're going to animate, this may work well. But then if you're animating one side and you want to copy the animation across, this arm's going to do the opposite of this arm. So it comes down to what you're wanting to do. Let's just undo that. So if we try orientation, click apply. Y is pointing up there, and Y is pointing up there as well. If we rotate this, it's going. this side is doing the opposite to this side, but it's kept the same orientation. So if we uh, wanted to animate this side, the left side, and copy the animation across to this side, it should, in theory, work out okay. Or have I got those the wrong way around? It's basically kept the orientation. As you can see, which in some cases may not be right. Anyway, I like to have it set to behaviour, click apply, and as you can see that looks much nicer. We've got the X, rather than pointing down the joint, it's pointing up the joint. So if you wanted to, you could mirror the joints and then you could go in and you could use the Orient Joint tool to clean that up. Maybe try getting the joints pointing exactly how you want. But what's nice about this setup is we can select both arms and raise and lower them move them forwards and backwards together. So you can essentially animate both sides at the same time just by using behavior. And if we select that shoulder, close this down, you can see it's renamed it to right shoulder, left shoulder, right shoulder. So let's do the same on the leg. And just click mirror joint because we're just repeating what we did before. And that should be parented. Oh, there we go. So there we have our full skeleton. We've gone in, we've built the skeleton, we've fixed the joint orientations, we've mirrored the left and right side, and then as a final test, select hierarchy, display local rotational axes, 
as you can see, mirroring them, it's also mirrored, uh, using behavior has also mirrored the axes. So depending on what you want to do, you may want to go in and refix those. So we can just go to um, skeleton, orient joint. So we want X down the bone. Let's just click apply. As you can see, X is now, uh, Y is now pointing down. Let's reset that actually. Click apply. So there we've got Y pointing up, Y pointing up, X down the bone, X down the bone. So they're fine, Z is forward there, but then this is the opposite side, so Z is gonna have to point backwards. But then we've still got this rotation here, but then we're gonna sacrifice that rotation there, you see the arms are doing opposite. X works fine there. So it's down to personal preference, how you want your skeleton set up. So there it's up to you. You've got your skeleton built, you've checked the rotational axes, you've checked the rotation order, just go through, double check everything's fine. Uh, and when you're absolutely happy with how your skeleton is going to rotate and deform, you can next, we can next think about how we're going to take this and attach it to our model to make our model move with the skeleton. And we'll do that in the next video.